Hi, today we're going to be doing Xcode 4 tutorial. We're going to be displaying the text from a text field into a, a label. So let's get started. Start up Xcode. I want to create a new project. This project wants to be in the applications of iOS, a single view application. Give it a name of I'll do lesson one. And we want it to be for the iPhone specifically, with storyboards on and automatic reference counting on as well, no class prefix. Leave this one unchecked. Next. Choose a place to save it. I'll save it in lesson one. Create. So this is what your project will look like when you create one for the first time. You got your version, device, deployment target, etc. So let's dive straight into the storyboard. This is what your iOS 5 applications in Xcode 4.3 will look like. Gives you a nice navigation with everything you can choose on the right here in the object finder. So you got code snippets, file template library, objects, and media library. We want to be in the objects. So to start with, let's drag out a label. Position this at the top using the blue guidelines to get a nice even distribution across the screen. And now let's go to the properties, align this center, give it a bit more size. Okay, now let's drag out a text field. Change the size of this too. And a round rec button. Position this. And we'll give that We'll give the button a title of, say, hello. We'll give the label no text to start with. Right. Now, click at the top here of the view. You can also do this by opening up this and clicking on the view controller here at the top. Then, I'm going to hide the right hand side so we got more space and then click the split view to see the code and the storyboard. So from here, press control on your keyboard and drag from the label to the .h file and give this a, na uh, a name here. Yeah? So output label. The same from the text box. We'll give this a name of input text. And then we're also going to create another property of IB action. We're going to give this background touched with the ID of sender. Sorry, that's be capital. Right. Now let's close, close that, close this, bring back this, we're going to change the background of the storyboard or the view to a UI control. This allows us to hide the keyboard when the background's touched. So that's all from this. Now we wait, click back here, split view again. Click here to change to the .m file, and then first we'll clear out some of this. We don't need that. Don't need this. Doesn't matter about the orientation at the minute. And then we're going to drag in the button for the button click. So this will be say hello. Now go to the .m file. I'm going to change these, I like having them already defined with something equal to them. Then we need to implement the IV action that we created. So, IV action background. 
attached. There we go. And we also need to go back to our .h file. And at the top here, we need to include the UI text field delegate. This will enable us to get keyboard events and to hide and show the keyboard when the user's finished. So back to our view controller.m. We need to implement one more method. Text field should return. There we go. Okay, so in here we do if the input text. Sorry, if the text field equals input text, then we're going to. Sorry. There. We're going to get the input text field and resign first responder. This will hide the keyboard when the user presses the done button on the keyboard. Then otherwise you have to return yes or no. Okay. We'll also implement the background touched. And resign the first responder to that as well. So, going back here and opening up the right bar, clicking on the background and over here, to the events, we want to touch down, drag this over to the view controller here, and then click background touched. And then on the text box itself, we need to make the delegate, so that's now linked. Now, if we are to run the application from here, we can show the text field and the keyboard opening and then closing when you hit the done and return. Let's change that keyboard from that key and make it oops, sorry, the return key to done. Okay. Now, to get the last bit working, we need to do get the label so self dot output label dot text equals self dot input text dot text and semicolon now build and run now if we click the down button the text field goes away if we click the background the text field also goes away so if we type in hello Josh click the background, say hello, and it appears in the label here. And that's all for this tutorial. If anyone wants the code, please PM me. I'll be happy to provide that. And please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.